This is probably the most monumental video in the series of all the videos for this car in probably 23 years. What you're hearing, if you hear the echo in my voice, is the fact that I'm in a totally different place and I didn't tow this huge ass car. She ran on her own. Now the maiden voyage wasn't exactly carefree. Oh, she's so angry. Why are you so angry? Stop, stop. <laughs> what you're seeing there is the radiator cap, this overflow fill cap, whatever you call it. See, it says 13 pounds. It's supposed to be 13 pounds of pressure, 13 PSI. And uh, not this way of testing it, but that's <laughs> what you saw there was not 13 pounds. It barely even holds one. And that's because of this little thing called a, called a pressure tester. And uh, you hook it up to here. You can test both the actual system pressure and the cap pressure. The cap just does not do the job. So this beast is officially running. It has been more than 20 years since this car has actually ran. Now, I drove it for eight miles. Uh, I did not in any way prepare the car to drive. I literally got the engine running and hauled ass out to my brother's house on a maiden voyage and then drove it to the detail shop. So what you saw by the end of the detail shop drive was uh, the radiator system actually just up to speed. Uh, let's go down here. Okay, so it's not just the camera. Do you notice the main crankshaft uh, pulley? That thing is literally bent like this. Um, and what's funny is while the car's running, it's always bent like this. It's not like it's rotating like that. Uh, I gotta fix those loose bolts. I've got a radiator leak. You can see how, see how shiny those, those fins are. Other than that, and, oh, and because of all the radiator fluid, um, it fried this relay. Uh, other than all of that, this car actually runs. She actually runs very smooth. Uh, transmission shifted perfectly. Everything about this car has been fun as hell. So, because this is an update about this car, and nothing else, really, <laughs> nothing else matters, because this is the only car that's running smooth, what you're seeing here is me taking scraps from wrapping this car, uh, Porsche 911, and uh, taking the scraps and just seeing if a satin black uh, 3M wrap would look good on this car. So I tried it in various spots with various scraps, trying different techniques. And uh, you can see there's the stainless steel uh, trim just to see how it all look. So let me know what you guys think. What color should this car be? Obviously Lincoln, it, you know, a continental black seems to be the most common choice, but if not, what type of black? This is satin, just for reference. Um, you know, there's matte, satin, metallic, all those other things. So please tell me what you guys think you, I should do to this car from a visual standpoint. For one thing, look at how shitty the wheel fit, the stance. This is like anti-stance. Anti-stance. <laughs> look at that. It, when, it, when you drive it, it's just like this whole like doopy doopy doo. It, it's completely horrible to drive. It's like driving a pillow. It's like having sex with a pillow. It feels great, I guess, but nothing really happens. <laughs> so anyway, that's this beast in a nutshell. I'm out here at the detail shop. I just got, just for five seconds, if any of you guys like watching the end of the video, I just got in this Z06, uh, it's a supercharged Corvette. And uh, sh what you're seeing is everything's all covered in Expel right now. So she's all done up, finished letting the, everything cure. I think by the time the real world sees this car, um, you know, it'll be, it'll be announced by then and you'll probably see the Instagram and whatnot. But I just had a chance to wrap the front and the sides for a uh, good old Fast and Furious premiere on Friday. So I'll be taking her out and, and whoring her out as well. Ignore this, this is when you own a detail shop you're done with all the customer's jobs and you're wrapping your own car like a piece of shit. So ignore that, ignore that sort of stuff. Anyway, that's a nice huge update on the Lincoln. You're going to see her start idling and driving more often. The, the radiator system is the only problem with it to uh, drive it normally. So you'll see her on the road 